Yeah. Testing, testing. That was Peppy, the lead developer of OS, and the two of us talked about everything. Which includes the latest changes from this laser update, starting with some innovations in the world of skin development, saving skin layouts specifically to each game mode. So you can now go into the skin editor and use the new drop down to select a different layer, and one of those new layers is per rule set, and you can add elements there. In classic skins where, for instance, Osmania, you had the health bar attached to the playfield. This is the, the first steps towards that. In Argon, you can expect each rule set to have its own HUD layout in the future, but until then, you're fully able to set those up on your own. Going forward, layers are going to be used a lot more for things like break overlay. So if you want elements to only show during the break time, or if you want elements that don't hide with the rest of the HUD, it's going to, I guess, make skinning a lot less hacky, where previously you would have to create transparency in images to make this layering happen. But after we add these layers into the game, it's going to give yeah the flexibility and just the ability to make skins in a less hacky way. Note that unlike image editing software, you can't create and reorder your own layers. If you want to control the depth of overlapping elements though, you can just do this. I know, fascinating. And on top of new features, the skin editor is becoming actually nice to use. So skin editor is finally getting the basic functionality that's been in the beatmap editor for a while. Uh, luckily, we made those systems very modular, so implementing them was actually very simple. And in case you haven't noticed yet, selections look way nicer. Only the selected elements have their names displayed, and layer separation is super clean. All of this is the result of 10 seconds worth of input from Flight. So thanks, Flight. You're welcome. I went to an OSLAN recently and watched both casual and experienced players try laser for the first time, and I think all of them were confused on how to set up their tablet area. As of now, that's not really a concern because you can drag this box. Are you able to explain like any amount of why it doesn't feel good? Oh wow, this is actually a hard question because I know I know the feeling. I just don't know. I can't pinpoint the exact reason. Um, if that's your experience playing laser, this animation may be a contributor. In stable, this circle fades while it's still clickable, but in laser, the circle fades after the hit window ends. The thinking was that we want hit objects to be visible to the user as long as they can actually click them. That's not the case on stable. You can actually click in an empty space and get a you know a 50 from it. So we only brought this change back in classic mod for now because we don't necessarily think it's the correct behavior to go forward with. Tyco has a similar animation concern. If you click a note in stable, it'll teleport to the center, then animate, while in laser it'll just animate from wherever you click. Despite laser giving better feedback, some people really don't like this, so it's been re-added to the classic mod too. Secondly, there was a bug that caused incorrect note types to appear. That is officially fixed. Laser is a wide-spanning project with tons of details. Getting it to please everyone is extremely difficult, but every update has a bunch of tiny changes that make the game's details just that much better. So let's skim through a few tiny changes this update, starting with something everyone here should care about, the editor. In Laser, we're trying new things in the editor, and one of those was to have the editor be more involved in the seeking process when you're placing new notes. Uh, some people don't like this, so now you can disable it from the view menu. Clicking this button will select the new skin you just imported. Previously, you had to find the skin in the list, which was really annoying. <laughs> Ren, I have nothing to say about that. You probably have more better things to say, yeah. Background blur and song select is a bit darker. In the mod menu, this has triangles. Clicking these red buttons is a bit safer now because you can click and hover away and it'll cancel. The results screen is a bit clearer now. Uh, previously, the display could actually land within those gaps. Uh, now it can't and tournament banners now show up on your profile in-game. So scattered details like these are in every laser update, and they'll eventually make laser meet the hyper-specific needs of everyone in the OS community. Hopefully. There, there's a lot of different types of people involved in this game though. Like there's casual players, tournament players, mappers, and even mobile players now. The path towards getting people to use laser is complicated, and that's something we're going to touch on. But not here. We need to go outside for that. 